Namaste. So I'm going live now because I was just in a group in Clubhouse. I don't know if you are on Clubhouse, but if you are, feel free to follow me. You can find me under my name, Gina Joanne in Clubhouse. So I had the honor just now to speak as a guest in the group Women in Mind and the room was about finding and healing trauma and this is a topic that is so deep in my heart and it was such a essential part of my story and my journey in my life that um, I really felt pulled to talk to you about it. Um, you might have seen in my story that my client was uh, giving her a testimonial about her experience of a one part of the completion process, which is called safe haven. And um, yeah, I just want to share how I got here and why that is that I'm um, sharing this technique. And it's one of many tools that I support people that experienced trauma. And when you think of trauma, you might think of like um, huge things like abuse, like um, um, post-traumatic um, syndrome. But sometimes trauma can be very, very small um, for an outsider. Um, usually it's, or it could be like experiences that you have in your childhood, emotional um, reactions that you had to things that w were traumatizing to you. I have countless memories of these, um, especially growing up in a household, there was a lot of violence, a lot of verbal violence and physical violence. And that is something when you grow up with it, then it could be you normalize it. You don't even think it was that bad or something like that. And that's what why I'm sharing it now, then that you might have a situation that you experienced and that is stored in your body that is traumatic and your brain is storing the trauma and what I just learned and or relearned as well and, and brought into memory again is that because of the trauma that you store it in the part of your brain that doesn't store it as a past memory. It actually, it stays alive. It is trapped in the part of the brain that keeps it in the present moment. So even if that traumatic event happened like 10, 20, 30 years ago, um, it's still stored in the part of the brain that keeps it in the present moment. So you go through life with while you're experiencing the trauma over and over and over again and you're stuck there. And something that the completion process does is that it goes back to your body. We um, look and scan through your body where um, the emotion is trapped and we help I support you and facilitate this um, room, this atmosphere, this space for you to feel safe and trust that you are able to tap into that and go back into feeling it and go back into release the emotion that was stuck and it and it and it can have different forms it can have different shades or color and different emotions that will come up um and the, the great thing about it is that you get to reframe what was stored 
because it's also a story, a story that you tell yourself from the perspective that you were in. But we can go back and we can have empathy for your inner child, for example. We can go back and look what you were actually responsible for and what you were not and to really take off the load and take off the the shame the guilt the um sadness and be able to go through that and feel it and listen to the message that those feelings that we usually try to avoid we try to run away from it yeah but those have really ex important messages for us you wouldn't be the person that you are if you wouldn't have gone through the experience and something that is um i have just recently also learned is that empaths aren't born but they are formed by the the environment that they were in yeah for example me as a child i had to really be aware of what was happening emotionally with the other people in my family in order to keep myself safe emotionally safe physically safe so it was like my emergency um tool to really know okay what is going on what are their thoughts what are their feelings and really tuning in to others in order to survive and that is the state that really forms an empath um today i'm so grateful that i have these I, I consider myself a high sensitive person that I have these gifts that I can really detect the way others are feeling because this is actually my guidance system to be able to guide others through their completion process. And why is it necessary necessary to, to actually go to through a completion process? Because trauma is trapped and when your experience is any similar to mine then it could be that the trauma affects you in this way that actually you have a memory loss yeah you don't remember what really happened because not knowing not knowing all the details of your traumatizing situation is what kept you safe because if you would have let all that feeling, all the details, um, all that in at the same time, it could have led to another breakdown or there is a reason why your brain is not letting you experience all that in that moment. But when you are ready, then your body and your brain will start unpacking that trauma and suddenly you can have for example anxiety or you are incapable of moving or you have trouble with um, breathing and it it has so many different forms but you're not actually leading it back to the the original experience the original source of that reaction because it's it it happened maybe way back then so what i do is like i basically hold your hand even if we're on a digital form um online i create a space for you to have the trust and the security to really go in trust yourself trust me as your facilitator that we are able yeah and you are you have the tools that you need to go there and to unpack it yeah 
I got a beautiful nickname by a friend of mine and he called me the lighthouse. And I felt so seen when he told me that. And I can identify with it so much because I feel this is why I have gone through all the darkness in my life in order to find the light within myself. And because I have found this light within myself, I get to be the lighthouse for so many. So if you are experiencing darkness, your dark days, or maybe even the, the dark night of the, oh, I'm saying it wrong, but you know what I mean, the dark night of the soul. If you're experiencing that and you are scared, if you're fearing for your life, for your health, for your mental health, then this is the situation where you want to really reach out, let others know and let others support you in that. You don't have to go through it alone. I am so deeply grateful for all the facilitators that help me go through the completion process and integrate those those parts of me that fell away from me, that fell apart or that I tried to disidentify with because it wasn't seen as wanted. If this speaks to you, if you feel like there is something you would like not just to talk about because talking I mean, I talk a lot. Talking for me is cathartic for sure. But I experience that only the level of talking doesn't really go deep enough to have access to the emotional body. And within the emotional body, there's so much stored that really, um, that we kind of hold on to. And because we're trying to hold on to this um, traumatic experience in our emotional body and we don't do it consciously, we do it subconsciously, that really takes away the experience of life, the fullness of life, to really go into the depth of your emotions. For me, it's an absolute honor I, I'm so grateful to have clients who trust in me and allow themselves to be vulnerable with me. And I guess as a coach, you know, I can only take you so far as I have gone myself and I have gone through darkness. I have gone through my dark days and there have been many. I have experienced the toxic relationship, I have experience with narcissists. I saw the codependency that I had within me that really drew in all the narcissistic people. Yeah? I had to learn my own boundaries and I had to learn to say yes to say yes to me and to say no to everything that wasn't me. I hope that you could take away um, a lot of things and even if it's just like talking about what you have experienced with someone you love, you trust and that is able to, who's able to really be there for you if you don't have someone or if you feel like I could be that someone for you, it would be my absolute honor. Um, I'm waiting here for you to reach out. Um, I will do these um, videos um, um, as often as I'm able to uh, and whenever I feel inspired to. 
I want to um, invite you also to um, my comeback program, which is going to start at the end of June. So if you are a woman, I have uh, spaces for 10 wonderful women who are ready to activate their chakras. So if you um, have a block in your energy, you want the energy to really move again. And I want you to have your root chakra really grounded to feel the security and the safety and the stability that you can give to yourself. I want you to activate your sacral chakra to have the ability to really express your emotions and really tap into the water of yourself. I want you to activate your solar plexus so you have the discipline and also the focus to really bring your feelings and your ideas into action and move. And I want you to do it from an activated heart chakra to really be able to feel the, not just the feeling of love for yourself, but the love for others as well. I want you to activate your throat chakra to be able to communicate who you are as a human being so you share with others what you have to give. I want you to activate your intuition, your third eye to get the messages from within yourself. For me, I can say that listening to my intuition has probably saved my life, has definitely saved me from a toxic relationship. And I want you to activate your crown chakra to really be the queen that you are and to be able to let the energy flow from the universe, from source, through you. And if you are ready to have this experience, if you are ready to feel like you're coming back to you, coming back to your soul, coming back to your mind, coming back to who you are, but also being able to get your potential out there into this world and really show the world who you are, then the comeback program is the right thing for you. I'm really happy to have been able to share this with you, to be able to have these uh, programs in order to support you. All I need from you is a dm let me know if you are interested let's have a conversation let's see if i can help you and how i can help you because i'm i'm not going to work with everybody we have to be a fit we have to match in our energy and you have to be willing to work yeah you have to put in the work all i do is support but it's your responsibility, just as it was my own responsibility, to really have a good look into myself and really see my light, but also my shadow. And because I've been able to see my shadow, I've been able to really bring awareness to my shadow and therefore bring it into the light. Okay, this is it from me. Namaste, have a great day and talk to you soon.